Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I am going to teach you about uh, another question of PySpark which was asked in the recent interview in one of the company. So I got this question from the LinkedIn post but what I did is that I changed, I tried to change the data set and I tried to change the scenario also. Okay, so here what it is, what, uh, what it is being asked is that write a PySpark code to calculate the percentage difference between total sales in quarter 1 and quarter 2 of each year from the sales data table or you can say data frame okay so we have this data right so you can see we have some dates uh, right uh, like month wise it is of January month uh, February March april may june and so 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 and we have all these uh, you know all these uh, sales right now uh, we have like a schema over here and this is the data frame what if if i try to show this and if i run this you can see we have the data look like this before going to the main question i would like to introduce my course which is practice 50 PySpark interview questions and here you can see we have around 50 questions which is what which were asked in the recent interviews also like Tiger Analytics, uh, Accenture, Deloitte and uh, Walmart you know all these companies you know you can you can have these questions so uh, all the questions are given over here 50 PySpark fin question final you can download this uh, this folder or file and this is a zip file so you have to unzip it and all the solutions you will get it over here and all these things of, uh, is present over here now let's go back to this now where we were i was showing the data right we have this data now now what i did is that hey uh, we have we are creating a spark session it is not needed as of now in data breaks it is not needed so i can remove it now what i am doing hey i am importing some functions like quarter because i need to find out the quarter see if you want to write your own logic, you can write it down. But since we have a predefined functions, we can use it. Right, quarter, quarter, year, and sum. Right. Now, what I'm basically doing is that is that I'm just creating a data frame, and then see. First of all, I'm finding out only years. Okay, only years I'm finding out with the help of date column, and with the help of date column only, I'm finding out quarter, which quarter it is. Right now, if I run this and let me comment all this stuff, hmm. you can see we have date, sales, and we have two more columns which is year and quarter. Now, you can see it only extracted year, year from this date and, uh, and it turns into one. So it belongs to one January, February, March belongs to first quarter, so that's why it is showing like this. And you know, uh, for I mean, uh, uh, April, May, June belongs to second quarter, so that's why we have two. Likewise, we have three. And again, again we have you know again again uh, it start from uh, 2011, so it's a new year. I mean, uh, an another year, so. Okay, it is start from 4, no it should not be. So we, we can have like this, see we have this first quarter of 2011, right. Likewise we have done it. Now what we are doing, we are aggregating sales data by year and quarter because because basically what we need needed to do is that we need to do a total sales in quarter 1 and quarter 2. So that's what we are doing over here group by year and quarter if it is only quarter then we could have we we, we we couldn't have used this year but you know uh, since it is on year and quarter basis that's why we are using group by may year and quarter and aggregation sum sales okay when we do it what we will get we will get year quarter and total sales see year quarter and total sales now in this what we want to do what we want to have we want to have a picture like year quarter one quarter two and total sales right so we basically want quarter one and quarter two we want this quarter sorry this quarter quarter one and quarter two 
right that's what we want so what they have done is that they have group by year and pivoted quarter they have put a filter of one and two and then aggregation total sales and with column they, they have changed the like one to quarter one underscore sales and two to quarter one underscore sales now if i uh, remove the comment or uncomment it you will see it will look like this year quarter one sales and quarter two sales very good now basically what we want to do now next we want to have a percentage also right that's what the question asks right percent difference between total sales in quarter one and quarter two right so what is the logic i have implemented see when quarter one is not null and quarter two is not null okay uh, if it is this then then and quarter two sales minus quarter one sales divide by quarter one sales and uh, into 100 right it's a it's a basic formula of percentage everyone may know right now let me quickly uncomment this result dot show also now you can see we have the data look like this correct now if you want to if you want to have this quarter one quarter two column you can have it otherwise you can exclude it also right this is what you know the question is and it's a very important question like you know we have used here pivot function we have used here aggregation function we have used a new new uh, new function quarter year right you might have not used yet right so this is the way you know how you can solve these question it's a bit pretty straightforward questions if you know the concept if you know PySpark well, that's why I'm saying, hey, if you want to practice it, you can explore my website, you can explore my courses, and uh, yeah, like, and in the next video, I will be solving another important question, which is, which will be related to Python, you know, why list and tuple, like, why list is slower than the Python, sorry, why list is slower than the tuples, so, you know, I will be solving that question also uh, sooner, so hopefully you will get that question also in your recent in in, in your coming interviews chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture